based on actual events as recorded in the Book of Mormon, another testament of Jesus Christ. Why do we have to obey him? He's a visionary man. He led us out of the land of our inheritance. And for what? To perish in the wilderness. We suffer because of the foolish imaginations of his heart. You know not the dealings of that God who has created you. Laman, oh that thou mightest be like unto this river, continually running into the fountain of all righteousness, and Lemuel, oh, that thou mightest be like unto this valley, firm and steadfast and immovable in keeping the commandments of the Lord. I do not believe that Jerusalem, that great city, can be destroyed according to the words of the prophets. Your hearts are hard. And you are stiff-necked like unto the Jews who were at Jerusalem, who sought to take away my life. He is God, and in his great mercy, we are delivered from destruction. If we keep God's commandments, we will prosper. If we do not, we will perish. all that Father has said. I do. Why? I did cry unto the Lord. And he did visit me. And it softened my heart. I did believe. I believe you, Nephi. Lord, I come to thee to pray for my brethren. Laman and Lemuel, their hearts are hard, Lord. Father, I grieve for them. Blessed art thou, Nephi, because of thy faith, for thou hast sought me diligently with lowliness of heart. And inasmuch as ye shall keep my commandments, ye shall prosper, and shall be led to a land of promise. And inasmuch as thy brethren shall rebel against thee, they shall be cut off from the presence of the Lord. And inasmuch as thou shalt keep my commandments, Thou shalt be made a ruler and a teacher over thy brethren 